<laughs> I can't help it. Whenever I hear a bad line, I just start laughing. Everybody looks at me and they go, like, "Really? You really they thought that was that was something?" <laughs> Pleasures. Just leave me alone. Hello. Uh, I'm sick and tired of hearing stereotypes, man. Every time we see here a comedy show with some Malaysian or Singaporeans, always mention Singapore stereotypes. You know, because I don't, I don't like stereotypes. I like to joke about facts. Facts are a lot more fun. Anyone can come up here and just really blurt stereotypes, and we've heard all the stereotypes, right? <laughs> All Indian people are in IT. That's not true, I'm just saying. You know, a lot of them are also in money exchange. I'm just saying, keep it factual. Work with the facts. Work with the facts. You know, they, we hear it all the time, you know, all Malays are lazy at jobs. This is not true. Okay? Some of us don't even have jobs. You know what I mean? Just keep it factual. That's what I'm saying. You know, we hear all Chinese are stingy and money-minded. Okay, well, actually, that one's true, lah. I mean... I'm glad there's some Chinese people laughing, clapping in the front row. Correct, correct. Yes, we are very proud. Very proud. Man, money come. Uh, but we're, of course, you know, living in a multiracial, multicultural society has got its perks. You know, we not only have, you know, different ethnicities, we're not, we, are, we're all have, we call home, but we also have a lot of expats living in Malaysia. Uh, my sister is actually dating an expat. Uh, he comes from where most expats in Kuala Lumpur come from. Bangladesh, uh, it's true. No, it's true, really. Uh, he's a typical expat. He works in the oil and gas industry. You know, he pumps petrol at the local petrol station. That's where, that's where he met my sister. Hey, hey, hey sister, man, I'm out. Diesel, huh? 95, 97. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. Don't worry. He's a very romantic guy. Okay? He holds my sister's hand every time they cross the road, and mine also. Uh, Uh, hey, uh, there's a white guy that is not laughing at all like, the whole time. He's like, what about me? What about me? I'm an expat too. Whereabouts are you from, my man? Australia. Australia. <laughs> okay. Mm, uh, don't want to get into the uh, Australian lingo with you because uh, I'm not supposed to curse on stage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've performed my first time performing to a white audience. It's a lot of fun, actually, because you guys are a very intelligent crowd, but not all Malaysian crowds are, are like you guys. You know, sometimes I get on stage, I go, hello! They all look at me and go, why? <laughs> but when there's a room full of white people, it's really easy. You know, I just go, hello, everybody, and they go, hello, back. You know, my first, my first exposure to a room full of uh, matsalis, full of white people, was in Australia. It was in the northern region of Australia. I don't know if you've heard of this place. It's called uh, uh, Kuta Beach, Bali. Uh, <laughs> It's really nice. Uh, <laughs> traveling, traveling is definitely one of the perks of doing doing stand up. Definitely, it is. Uh, you know, uh, one of the one of my favorite places to perform in was in the Philippines. Yeah, Philippi Filipinos are so friendly, and I'm not used to hearing the accent. You know, they on a regular day to day basis. Don't get me wrong, though. We love hearing that rendition of Hotel California. <laughs> It's beautiful, it's beautiful. But on a conversational level, it was difficult because I'm not used to it. I was having my breakfast in Manila, and after I finished my meal, a local Pinoy, a local Filipino waiter walks up to me and says, Sir, Pines? I got shocked, you know, I got shocked. Like, whoa, what, they're very open here, huh? They just... He's offering me penis. He's not asking if you finish. It's all finish. <laughs> I was very fortunate uh, to travel abroad, to, to study abroad. I was in, uh, I studied for four years in, uh, in Miami, Florida. You guys heard of this place before? Yeah, I know, I know. It's a beautiful part of Cuba. Uh, <laughs> And one thing that was nice was that I had to, I had to, I had to change uh, my methods of, of chatting up uh, the, the ladies, you know. I was single when I was in, in Miami. And it was, it was very difficult because I come from Malaysia and the women here, you know, the, particularly the local women here are very timid, they're very shy. They don't really, they're more like, mm, you know, don't call her, send SMS, SMS. Mm. Don't hold my hand, I scared I get pregnant. Mm. So you have to be a bit, you know, careful in your steps and trying to woo these ladies. But then I find myself in Miami, Florida, where there are a lot of Latinas. Yeah, so I have to be a bit more confident, a little bit more, uh, you know, a bit more confronting, you know. And I can't, can't be all shy and all that. So I needed some, some tips. So I asked a local Latino friend of mine, he's, he's, uh, he's Argentinian, and I asked him, how do, you, how, do you, how do you talk to these women? How do, you, how do you speak to these women? And he said, let me show you, let me show you. And the first beautiful Latina that walked by, he started yelling at her. Hey, mommy, mommy, mommy. 
Donde que va con tremendo culo. Which means, where are you going with that big, uh, big, you know, yeah, b -b 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 yeah, big, uh, yeah, okay, thank you. I'm not sure whether, beep. anyway. So, uh, where are you going with that? She, he asked, and I thought, that's really rude. This girl's gonna turn around and slap this guy across the face, right? No, she actually responds in a very positive manner. She goes, she turns around, she goes, oh, me voy a la tu casa. I'm going to your house. Oh. And I thought, wow, this, this pickup line works. In Miami, it works, lah. <laughs> and then I come home to Kuala Lumpur, and mm. <laughs> Hey, Cik Adik, pergi mana? Bontok besar, ada! <laughs> but then again, it's very different, though, having, you know, pick-up lines in, in English and pick-up lines in, in our language, you know? And in Malaysia, we have three main languages, right? Malay, ca Cantonese, and Tamil, right? And Malay, uh, not to discredit the, the language, it's a beautiful language, very poetic, but not very sexy in the bedroom, you know what I mean? And then we have uh, the, the, the preferred uh, uh, Chinese dialect in Malaysia is Cantonese. Cantonese, who's your daddy? It's Le Baba Hoi Bingo. It's not sexy, doesn't sound sexy, I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. But let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the third dialect, the third uh, dialect I was, I was mentioning, Tamil. Tamil, I believe, is a very sexy language. I wish I, spo I spoke Tamil more fluently, really. Any Tamil speakers in the room? Anyone speak Tamil here, by the way? Just, just that, that, that greeting I said to Vignesh. That long sentence just means, hello. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> So coming back, dirty talking, dirty talking in Tamil, guys. Who's your daddy in Tamil? Check this out. Who's your daddy in Tamil? It's like this. Ni apa yara? Sounds sexy, isn't it? There's an auntie in the back there. Went whoa. Nga apa peri I wish I could speak better Tamil. Really, I wish I could speak much more fluent Tamil. I like to order the different curries in, in the Tamil definition because we want to connect with our Tamil brothers. You just go to, you go, you go to the sit down, you sit down and the mama, suddenly you can speak Tamil. shut up la, chong. But then, by the way, you order, you, to, to say fish curry, you say min curry. To say chicken curry, you say koli curry. To say mutton curry, you say ad curry. Now, now, the last one, ad curry, I mispronounce it as atta curry. Now, you know what, how, what in, utter in Tamil means to <laughs> yourself. So imagine a look on the face on the waiter when I say, Ane, atta kari reka. I say, oh, atta kari ya. Ni apa yare. You guys have been great. Thank you very much. Have a good night.